Hello, my name is John from Banks Web Design. This video is a little bit different. So this video, I'm gonna be doing a little collaboration with my friend Angelina over at Mint and Porter Design. Okay, she's a web designer over in the US, Colorado. Uh, I'm over here in the UK. And we use different page builders. I'm a fan of Elementor, and she's a fan of WP Bakery. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about five reasons why we each like them. So I'm going to start off with Elementor. I want to give you my five reasons why I use it. Okay, number one, like a lot of the page builders now, it's drag and drop. Now, this is nothing new, but it's a really nice, clean interface. I'm not going to say it's easy, because it isn't. It becomes easy once you get used to things like sections, padding and margins but once you work all that out which is not particularly difficult then you're on your way to building great looking websites another thing i will say number two with elementor is there are a ton of third-party plugins that fit really well with it so the free version is amazing as it is um, but if you want to just take that a little bit further then there are a load of plugins as i say that integrate really well with this and you can add on a ton more elements to give your websites just that little bit more creative edge. The third reason I like Elementor is the amount of blocks and templates that they give away with it. Again, straight out of the blocks. Um, you can literally pull together a really nice looking site just from the blocks and the templates that they have. Little bit of a pro tip, each themes kind of have their own. So some themes um, that are really driven with Elementor, uh, one in particular is Astra. Uh, if you download that, there's a add-on pack which you can get and you get something like another 140 odd um, templates and blocks that go with it. It's really, really neat. Uh, the fourth reason why I like it is I love the fact that you can copy and paste styles. Now I know you can copy and paste blocks, that's fine. What I particularly like doing is copy and pasting styles. So for example, let's say you've built a page that's got a button and on that button you wanted to have a colour, let's say you wanted that colour to be yellow with a little bit of shadow tiny bit of padding around it and a certain font and obviously you want to use that button and that kind of um, color palette and, and that design throughout your site and so what you're able to do with this is you can just copy the whole block and then say you start a new block out but you want to put the button in and then you want to maybe put a, another one in or, or move it down slightly but you still want to keep that same style you're able to paste in the style so then it keeps that same sort of color scheme and settings throughout your page. And the fifth version, why I love Elementor, is it's free. Now obviously there is a pro version, which I highly recommend. But the one thing I will say is that the free version is absolutely insane. I've personally built sites for myself just using the free version and they've turned out really well. I've also personally built sites for clients just using the free version, and they absolutely love them. So there you go. So there's my five reasons why I use Elementor. Now we're gonna head over to Angelina, and she's gonna give her five reasons why she uses WP Bakery. Angelina here with Mint Supporter Design Co, bringing you the best tips for freelance web design. I decided to switch it up in this video and collaborate with another web designer who specializes in Elementor. So you can hear two unique views on why these are the best WordPress page builders. I make the case for WP Bakery and John makes the case for Elementor. So check out why we love these page builders. First up, it's easy. There's no coding involved. It's all block-based visual design. Also, it's faster. Premium themes often offer WP Bakery, so you can get familiar with working with this page builder and you become super fast. It also provides the ability to work with a front-end or back-end visual builder. 
You can easily manipulate demo content either with the WP Bakery templates or theme templates as a starting point. Also, there's plug and play content with the introduction of blocks. You can easily copy and paste these blocks into different sections of the website to speed up your process. So, that's why I love WP Bakery. I love creating content about freelance web design life. If you'd like to stay up to date about the latest web design strategies, consider subscribing to my newsletter. Hopefully, this gave you a little more clarity on the best features of these WordPress page builders. What's your favorite uh, page builder? Is it Elementor, WP Bakery, or another one altogether? Type it in the comments below. Okay, so there you go. So similar yet also some different things I think I mean page builders now they are very similar but people just like their certain styles don't they I mean I'm I'm used to Elementor I think so that's probably why I saw sort of, that's my go-to whereas Angelina I think you know she uses that one that's something that she's kind of sort of developed and sort of honed her skills around so there's probably not much in it but I mean I'd like to see I'd like to hear what you think you know if you got a preferred choice, um, if you have, drop it down in the comments below and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So thanks very much for watching. Um, this has been great, it's been my first sort of collaboration. Um, many thanks to um, Angelina over at Mint and Porter. Um, definitely give her um, a thumbs up as well. Go ahead over there, um, subscribe to our channel. She's got some great content. And um, so thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.